this is simply, in lipid transfection, it's simply based on the concept of opposites attract. The nucleic acid has a net negative charge. The cationic lipid micelles, the transfection reagent, has a positive charge. The, the nucleic acid and lipids are allowed to form a complex, which now has a net positive charge because of the cationic lipid micelles coating the, all surfaces of the DNA molecules or the RNA molecules, thus giving it a net positive charge. Cells in culture have a net negative charge. So the positively charged nuclei, nucle nucleic acid uh, and lipid complex moves to the negatively charged cell membrane. The complex is then either engulfed by the cell membrane or the lipids of the complex diffuse into the cell me membrane. But through either method, the, the nucleic acid eventually gets across the cell membrane and into the cytoplasm. If the nucleic acid is RNA, its effect takes place in the cytoplasm, so essentially your transfection is done. If the nucleic acid is DNA, for its effect it needs to get into the nucleus. This happens when the cell undergoes mitosis, the nuclear membrane breaks down, and hopefully the DNA that's trapped, the DNA gets trapped in the nuclei of the newly formed daughter cells. This entrapment in the daughter cell nuclei is somewhat random. So to increase the likelihood of this happening, you want to use the most efficient delivery system method available. ATCC offers two transfection reagents for the delivery of plasma DNA, GeneX Plus and Transfex. GeneX Plus is a good choice for suspension cells. However, Transfex can be thought of as an all-purpose transfection reagent. We have developed optimized protocols for many continuous cell lines and primary cells. These protocols can be found on our website or by contacting technical services.